with a quick review update as far as a new season of a show that just started. So I had a chance to watch Westworld Season 4 Episode 1 uh, last night at the day of airing. And again today, just because on first viewing, I had actually put me to sleep about halfway through the episode. It was really slow and so weirdly paced for a show that, I mean, in general, is not support. It does not, you know, like fully action packed or anything like that. But overall, the show or the episode was pretty much on the slow side. So I did. That's kind of why I watched it twice. And overall, it was a good start to the season. Um, essentially, we're not necessarily doing a catch up, but we're or we're doing a catch up in the sense of. We're kind of seeing where the key players are. So Dolores is living with a roommate who's set, trying to set her up on dates. Things are kind of weird. So it's kind of a real world equivalent of how we started the um, season one where she's living in her happy little world. But she's kind of sensing that something might be amiss. Something weird is going on. Something one might be following her and things like that. We have uh, Dandy Newton's character. I want to say Maeve who is... Um, kind of still re doing her thing, but on the down low, but being pulled back into um, the, the world of what she's up to. She ends up uh, teaming back up with Aaron Paul's character, who's living with his family. So think along the lines of maybe a Clint Barton character meets Tony Stark. So somewhere a little bit in the middle of both of those characters from the MCU. Um and then, of course, the bulk of or the major impetus for the uh, episode is the man in black buying up all this land uh, in Mexico, for, or I assume Mexico, um, in this damn area. He's trying to recover the lost data, which I want to say is related to his daughter. So personally, for me, I'm going to have to actually have to go back and watch a recap of season three or watch season three itself because... I remember enough of it. I guess there was um, some data stuff going on. It was all about the uh, robots going crazy. I want to say there it was like the reset of people of some of them walking through a portal to the promised land, if memory serves. So I'm gonna actually have to rewatch the season or do that recap or watch a recap, like I said, to refresh my memory of what's going on. Um, but essentially it sounds like, um, the man in black is trying to build an empire to go against the company that runs, uh, Westworld. So we had very little Westworld stuff going on, it, um, except for the, of course, the robots in, um, Thandie Newton and Dolores. So, um, I guess it's kind of trying to tie that stuff together for what's going on right now, but there was very little as far as... Uh, what's going on with Westworld, what's going on with the reset, the company, and all of that. So I guess we'll kind of see what's going on. So I'm kind of reserving judgment about what's going on. Um, but I did uh, read something that the season is going to be a little bit easier, or supposedly a little bit to a lot, depending on your point of view, as far as easier to follow. The storylines aren't going to be as difficult to follow. So... Um, as far as this review goes, I'm giving it a tentatively good episode. Like I said, it was kind of slow to start, but halfway through, once we get the attack on Aaron Paul's character and Thandi Newton coming to save the day, um, the episode picks up quite a bit from there. Um, the beginning of the episode was also actually, um, uh, was also good as far as a man in black making the offer to that company with a guy and then saying if he comes back tomorrow, they're going to get nothing. So between that scene and the attack on Aaron Paul's company and him going off and teaming up with Danny Newton again, that middle section was particularly slow and kind of weird. So, that's why I'm give, reserving judgment. So overall, I'd probably give the episode a grade of about maybe about a 75 to 80 percent. Um, it shows promise, but I'm not quite sure where they're going to take it from here. So we'll see how it goes. Um, so with that being said, that's really all there is about for that. Um, I might give the episode one more watch to see if there's anything I missed. But I'll have a, a better review uh, with this week's podcast episode, um, and then, I, like I said, I might do that re or do a recap of recap or watch a recap of season three to see how that all holds up and how um, stuff ties together um, 
from season three, but it is does actually make me want to go back and rewatch season one and two. Um, I want to say they were the better of the two seasons because we did spend more time in the park. Season three started tying stuff together into the real world, but um, I didn't think it was anything bad. It was kind of just kind of weird. So we'll see how season four ties that all together. Hopefully it kind of pulls what Stranger Things did a little bit where the first season was the best, two and three were could have kind of been the same season, and then the fourth season ties it all together. So I'm kind of hoping that Westworld season four is the same thing where uh, seasons two and three could have kind of been tied together, or season three could have been, been done a little bit more efficiently. But season one is the best, and then hopefully season four ties it all together and makes it the second best season of the four that we ultimately have. So that's all there is for that. So if you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, or feedback, or your thoughts on the episode, then you can comment on this post on Twitch at twitch.tv slash headphonesneal, on YouTube at youtube.com slash pateln01, and of course a, a podcast and all subscription and support links can be found on the website at headphonesneal.reviews. The Twitter account, of course, is at pateln01 for all updates and things like that. But thanks for tuning into this particular and quick review, and until next time.